Welcome to another fireside chat. Today I'm talking with Dahlia and I'll let you introduce yourself because I am terrible at pronouncing names. Hi, I'm Dahlia Prashnikar from Croatia, Zagreb. Fantastic. Now you've been pretty active in the Delphi community for a long time and Delphi developer for a while. When did you start programming with Delphi? Well, 1999, I think. I'm not sure. Delphi 4, I think. I used to throw Pascal in high school, so th this is my connection with Delphi, but I didn't start immediately yeah. when it, it was released. I was I was actually using Java before Delphi. So. Oh, okay. You spent some time doing Java. I, I was uh, I did Toro Pascal, and then I didn't start Delphi until Delphi three. Um, I just missed it, and then I, later I discovered it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> yes, I, I was uh, I was doing some uh, web development at the time, and Java and JavaScript. That this was all before even. The CSS was invented so very, yeah. very, very early days. And I was using Turbo Pascal to generate some web uh, pages. So I was using it, but uh, Turbo Pascal was more than enough. I didn't need anything else. Yeah. And then I was playing with Delphi at some point and it kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah, it does that. So you wrote a book on memory management with Delphi recently, and then the news came out that we were changing up the memory management. So you want to talk a little bit about your book, maybe plans to update that or anything along those lines? Yes, I will make some updates uh, relating to those changes, but uh, those... Uh, there are not so so many big changes. Uh, mobile compiler will no longer have uh, ARC, automatic memory management, but uh, that will invalidate about 10 pages in the book. <laughs> <because> <laughs> the whole mem Delphi memory management is much more complex than that. So on ve very, very small part, uh, you still have uh, interfaces uh, which are reference counted. So very large amount of the book will remain untouched. Uh, of course, I will have some updates. In the meantime, uh, I discovered some new ways how to shoot yourself in the foot. With <laughs> 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 so, all, the, all the little things you discover as you go along and you figure, you find, oh, look at this, this is something new. You Rules are simple in mm -hmm. Delphi, but after a while, uh, as you write more complex code, uh, this gets complicated. And sometimes there are some subtle differences around some code uh, patterns where you can really shoot yourself self in the foot if you are not paying attention. So yeah. something like this, some common patterns that are used and people don't really think about it when you find out an issue, you can easily say, okay, this is this is because this, this, and this. Uh, there is nothing unusual in what happened. It's mm -hmm. just that you never anticipated something like that. So things like that. Sure. More more new new things you you need to pay attention. And for instance, one thing that was released in Rio in line variables that also have some things you have to pay attention to. For instance, if you use the reference counted variable with type inference, you will get it stored in object reference and the reference counting will be broken. So you have to, those are very little things you have to pay attention to. Ah. You can easily make a mistake. Yeah. It, you know, I'm glad you wrote the book you did because Delphi's the way it does memory is I've talked to a lot of developers that only work with dropping components on forums, right? And so yes. they think Delphi has a garbage collector because <laughs> you drop the component on the form. When the form goes away, all those components go away. And they're like, oh yeah, it just takes care of all that for you. And, and Delphi does a good job of giving you that high productivity for people to get in going easily, but then also gives you 
the ability to just kind of go all the way back. It's like, oh, you want to manually allocate memory? Go for it, you know? So uh, it's good to have the book you wrote because it helps people that have, you know, maybe are living in that, oh, Delphi just garbage collects for you. Yes. Understand <laughs> no, the whole garbage. scope of memory with Delphi, so. Yeah, so it is, it, it's simple in some ways, but also very complex because you, you can do a lot of stuff. Basic rules are very simple. You can, you don't have to, and especially with uh, T component and no ownership model, this is so easy to use. But then you can plug your own memory manager. You can uh, have different classes allocate completely differently. You can very go very, very, very low level. So, there is plenty of stuff you need to know if you want to go into details. In general, do you like the, what is it, the fast memory manager that we're using now? Or is there other memory managers that you prefer in general? Or maybe sometimes you recommend for certain use cases? Or mm, Well, uh, no. Uh, for most uses, uh, fast memory management, built-in memory manager is more than enough. You don't need yeah. anything else. I'm mostly doing uh, client-side applications, uh, desktop applications in Delphi, so that is not something that needs anything more, nothing deeper. Uh, if you are doing some server uh, applications and have some special uh, allocating needs, then custom memory management and new plugging in different memory managers for different scenarios, then that is something people should consider. For instance, yeah. now Fast Memory Manager 5 was released just last week, I think, or something. I did not know that. So the the one that ships as part of Delphi, is that based on FastMM4? Uh, yes, that is Fast uh, MM4, and now it is uh, 5. It is completely new, rewritten from scratch, and it has dual licensing model. It is commercial and GPL3. I will have to look into that. <laughs> that's that's big news. It scales much better and it is written for server, of heavily multi-threaded applications and server applications. I remember when they made the switch from the Borland Memory Manager, or whatever it was, the old one was called, to FastMM, and that was such a huge leap forward. I talked to a lot of people for quite a while that were still using old versions of Delphi. And I'm like, if you know, you should upgrade, but if you're not upgrading, at least switch out your memory manager. It makes such a huge difference. You got a fast MM. So yes. Interesting. I and the server side, that's I know that's one of the places that people have swapped out to other memory managers is on the yes, server. So uh, you need uh, better uh, multi-threaded scaling and uh, better memory allocating in under heavy conditions so but for desktop applications most of the time probably you can just go away with default memory management and don't think about it yeah and it's one of those things that you probably unless there's a specific situation you need to do that the overhead of swapping memory managers not justified for most situations uh, yes. <laughs> if you like to play with it yeah. <laughs> Or, or need. That's, or need it, but yeah. that's the beauty of Delphi. You can do some things you need if you need them. Yeah. You yeah. Can go very, very low level if you need to. If you don't, you can use it as a RAD development tool and fast. Yeah. I, that, honestly, that's one of the things I love the most about Delphi is you have this like super hybrid activity, drop some components, set some properties, write some event handlers, or you can you know, write a bunch of code and create your own components or whatever, or you can reach down and allocate memory and grab APIs and do whatever you want to do and just mix that all together however you want and do exactly what you want to do. It's just, I, that's, it's just so beautiful <laughs> about Delphi. I love that. Yes. So the, in, on mobile, the ARC automatic reference counting was kind of, um, controversial, I guess we could say, in the yes. Delphi community. It took me a while. I actually came around. I like the ARC, and so I'm kind of sad to see it go. I'm curious what your take is on ARC. Uh, at first, uh, I was used to manual memory managers management, so I didn't think like it was something that we need. Mm -hmm. But uh, with time, 
I learned to really like it because it really fills the gap between objects and interfaces in Delphi. So you don't have duality of memory model and you can do everything you can in other uh, languages that have some automated memory manager, you, you, like your Java or Swift on the iOS, Objective-C or uh, C Sharp. You don't have to think about whether something is interface or the object. It is m much easier to do some abstract programming with full ARC compiler that takes care of memory management. And uh, okay, you had the uh, problems with the component ownership model that was colliding with ARC, but mm -hmm. if you look at it purely on compiler level and the code you could write without uh, frameworks, uh, RTL or FireMonkey on everything that was not written for full ARC compiler, you could really, really do seamlessly everything. It just worked great. Yes, you, you had some uh, slowdowns and some price to pay, but if you're using interface on desktop, you are still paying that price for reference counting. This is something you have to pay. But overall, it was really good. I'm sad it, it, it is going away. Yeah. It never really had the chance to show full potential. It was always being brought down by the rest of the framework that was not written for it. And people think it was very slow because mobile, it was bringing down the fire monkey and everything was working slow. But that was not uh, really the fault of the ARC as memory management model, but the code that it had to work with. Yeah. Legacy. Yeah, sure. Legacy killed it. <laughs> I, I know that, honestly, the having the different memory models when you're wanting to share code does is kind of a big deal. So it, it's nice to have consolidated memory models so you have the same uh, yes. code uh, same behavior. Then, uh, it just didn't work out. Uh, we'd, yep. We would have to move ARC on desktop to mm -hmm. really ha ha be capable to write code the, the way it is supposed to be written in ARC. And this is something that eventually no, <laughs> was decided that will not happen and too many people are against it because yes, desktop servers and stuff, you have some slowdowns and those little slowdowns are maybe too much to take. People like being in control. Yeah, yeah. So for those of us that like ARC and maybe want to have occasionally have something with reference counted automatically, besides creating our own objects that are interfaces and reference counted, what else can we do? I know there's been some things in the past that have been like these wrappers that you could put around an object, like if you made a T string list that could automatically reference count and get rid of the string list for you. Are there any other tips or tricks? Is that something you cover in your book that people can uh, well, pick up? Well, I or? have a simple example of smart pointer that was actually using uh, anonymous method as a wrapper. So you could uh, uh, wrap it and automatically call invoke uh, anonym anonymous methods would automatically call invoke method. So you could use the code uh, without, you, you could use the wrapper without uh, changing the code, uh, just uh, uh, declaration and construction. The rest of the code you had, you if you wrap a string list, you could just say s dot add and use it. You you don't need anything else. Oh, but fantastic! That, that was a trick <laughs> used. So, is that something covered in your book, or people pick up the book uh, yes, and find out so how to do it? Example in the book, very simple wrapper. Basically, few lines of lines of code, and that is a trick because anon anonymous methods are backed by interface, and they have automatic reference counting, so they handle memory automatically. And then that magical invoke method that you don't have to type in, compiler automatically invokes it, and you don't have to. Okay. Every other wrapper, you have to call some value as yeah. 
value dot add or something like that that's, that is clumsy if you can you could wrap in the records and have some form of automatic memory management but you don't get that seamless wrapper, so to speak yeah so i do have a copy of your book i pre-ordered it and i've i will admit i haven't read all of it i've read parts of it <laughs> I, unfortunately i'm not sure if it's just an attention span thing or just i'm Probably, I think honestly, it's an attention span and a lack of uh, time management skills. But I, I get a lot of things I start on, and then I get off on something else. So I will have to go back and read more of your book because that sounds like a really useful. If you want to read about smart pointers, you have to go to last chapter. Last chapter. Ow. Oh, okay. See, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that is why you missed it. That's why I missed it. I didn't get that far. So I will go back and read the last chapter, and then. Go back and so I'll read the end first. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to visit with me today. Anything else you want to talk about real quick before we wrap this up? Well, no, that's okay. it, I guess. Glad to have you as an MVP and part of the community. And thank you again for writing your book. And I'm looking forward to the updates. Well, thank you for inviting me. And My pleasure. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.